hit a position. It's just to love him and to serve him his way.
his body was vibrating. He said that uh, he, he, he felt something. And I said, yeah, that's the Lord. And uh, we, we talked, and, um, and he gave his heart and life to the Lord. And, um, and I told him then, I said, you know what? Right now, your name is being written. I'm so thankful that my name's written there, but I, I couldn't be more proud of him that his name is now written Amen. there. Amen. Lord. Amen. I just want to thank the Lord for all that he's done for me and, and for his wonderful blessing.
song it is. It's one about him moving in the aisle. The Lord is here. Yeah. I don't know your heart. God does. Thank you, Lord. The most important thing that you can do in your life, it don't matter your material stuff, it don't matter what you got. Thank you, Lord. When it comes down to the end, knowing the Lord, is the only thing that matters in your life is what you do with him. Amen. I remember I prayed for mom for many years. I had just about given up hope on seeing mom saved. And we looked it up and it was just a little bit before her 79th birthday that she had talked to Kevin on the phone and she said, I don't want to go to hell. <laughs> Kevin went and talked to her and mom was saved. Amen. It made a change. Yeah. Mama left me with that. She has gone to be with the rest. Amen. But she left me with the knowledge and knowing that I can see her again. Amen. Her and dad, yeah. all of them. But if you're here and you can't say that to your family, right then, here's a good place this morning. Amen. I ask God to fill the house with the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's here. Amen. Amen. He may be speaking to you. I don't know your heart, but God does. If he's dealing with you, I ask, please, come to this altar this morning make things right. Yes, Lord. If it's a good day, it is a good day for that. I can't remember the song that started. I know. There you go. 37. Listen to the words of the song. I know him, but best of all, he knows me. And he can, you can know him and he can know you this morning. And you want him to know you when you come down to the end. You want him to know you and you want him to stand there and say, this is my child. Come on in. Amen.
I was lost, but now I am found in the book of life. My name's written down. Now I'm part of the family. I'm a child of the king. This is my story. This is my song to sing. You must be forgiven to make heaven your home. The good life you're living won't do it alone. So trust in the Savior and He'll save you today. And with blessed assurance you too can say
While walking down a memory lane of paths so long ago, old Satan came right by my side, making me feel low. He brought up thoughts of hurt and pain when I had gone astray. He wanted to discourage me as I walked along my way. Undeserving, cause I know where you've been. I have a record of your life when you were bound by sin. I know your darkest secrets that you would never tell. What makes you think you don't deserve a place with me in hell? Well, I heard the old accuser and this was my reply you were right for all those things i've done i sure deserve to die my righteousness is filthy rags my goodness is unclean there's only one thing i can say to what you said to me it's under the blood
obedient to Him. Amen. That's what it's all about, just being obedient to the Lord. I was thinking about the, the scripture when Jesus, uh, you know, He came by the pool of Bethesda. The angel came in a certain season every year and troubled the water. And, and uh, the first one to get in was made whole. There was a man that laid there 38 years, and he, he, uh, he couldn't be the first one to get in. But Jesus passed by that day and made a difference in his life. And, and he is passing by today with the same question he asked that man, Wilt thou be made whole? Whatever the need, whatever the situation, he is asking the same question, Wilt thou be made whole? His, his answer was, Lord, I have no man. Well, the man was standing there in front of him. And let me say, you may feel like you have no resources and there's no one to help you, but the one speaking to your heart today, he's, he'll do the rest. All you have to do is just turn it over to him. When you got saved, when I got saved, all we did was trust him. All we did is... is was give him our heart and life. We believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, and he did the rest. Amen. Amen. Let's just obey the Lord, just like Stacy's doing. Amen. Be obedient this morning. Amen. He's troubling the waters, and he wants to help you. He wants to help you if you'll let him. Amen. Let's come and pray.
Sing right in with him. We used to sing this in the choir. Washes our sins all the way. 
God knew what we needed today. Tiffany came into my office there during Sunday school and to tell me something. And I didn't have my Bible open. I'd been a, a studying and I had scripture, but I knew it wasn't for today. And I was just sitting there, just saying, Lord, have your way. She came in and said, You okay? <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. The Lord knew exactly what we needed today, and and, and I pray you got help. Uh, if you didn't get help, don't leave without getting help. Don't leave without getting help. Um, every walk of life in every situation, God can help you. Every situation. He's not just a specialist in some things. He's the great I am. Amen. Moses said, Lord, who shall I tell him sent me? He said, tell him I am. You fill in the blank. That's what he is. Whatever you need him to be, that's what he is. Amen. I'll sing one more song. Play one more time the song of invitation and every head bowed and every eye closed. And it, it, it scares me to dismiss the service and think that maybe there's somebody that still needs help. That troubles me. Um, what defines a good service is, is not, you know, not having preaching or Sunday school or anything. What defines a, a good service is Jesus passed by and you got help. That's what defines a good service. Every service could be a good service. Every service is for you and for me.